Welcome to today's practical planning tip by Park Bridge Wealth Management. My name is Jonathan Shankman, and I'm the President and Chief Investment Officer of the firm. Since June is Pride Month, my next few videos will discuss important financial planning considerations for LGBTQ families. And today we're going to discuss to wed or not to wed. So on June 26th of this year, we'll mark the ninth anniversary of the landmark Supreme Court decision to legalize same-sex marriage. I was actually in San Francisco on that date, starting a week-long road trip, and it was quite the festive atmosphere. Anyway, since the decision, financial planning for the LGBTQ community has become less complicated with marriage equality. However, there are still areas that need special attention and are often overlooked. First, let's discuss to wed or not to wed. While now legally able to marry, some in the LGBTQ community choose not to. There are financial planning implications for this personal decision. Couples who get married are governed by the numerous laws and regulations applicable to married couples. For example, married marriage automatically protects one's rights to things like social security and military spouse benefits. Another advantage of getting married is the ability to freely pass money and assets back and forth without worrying about gifting limits. An unmarried couple who moves more than $18,000 annual gift tax exemption as of 2024 between partners may encounter problems from a tax perspective. A potential personal finance drawback to getting married is a so-called marriage penalty. This is the tax increase that many couples face once they combine their incomes and file a married filing jointly. Couples should assess their joint tax liability and explore ways to reduce their taxable income, such as utilizing tax advantage retirement savings plans. Tomorrow, I'm going to discuss domestic partnership agreements. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. Until next time, stay prudent, practical, and don't forget to plan ahead.